This video covers use of PWM and the ADC on a Node MCU with MicroPython. Follow along with our guide linked in the description below the video. The components you need are laid out here. A breadboard, a Node MCU flashed with MicroPython, five jumper wires, a five millimeter LED, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, and a resistor somewhere in the range of 46 to 100 ohms. Using two jumper wires, connect a 3.3 volt pin on the Node MCU labeled as 3V3 to the positive breadboard rail. Then connect a ground pin labeled as GND to the negative breadboard rail. Then take your LED and connect the longer end, the anode, to GPIO5, which is labeled on the Node MCU as D1. Connect the other end, the cathode, to an empty breadboard row. Next, take your resistor and insert one lead into the same row as the LED's cathode and the other lead into the ground rail of your breadboard. Next, take the potentiometer and place it somewhere on the breadboard with three empty rows. Connect the middle pin on the potentiometer to ADC0, which is labeled on the breadboard as A0. Then connect one of the outer pins to the ground rail on the breadboard and the other outer pin to the positive rail on the breadboard. Before we start coding, let's go over what PWM means. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. In this image, there are three signals with different pulse widths. We have divided the three signals into three periods of equal length. The top signal has a 50% duty cycle. This means that the signal pulse is high for 50% of the period. This makes the average voltage of the period 50% of 3.3 volts, which is 1.65 volts. Pulsing at a high enough frequency to an LED with this duty cycle will make the LED appear dimmer than when supplied with a constant 3.3 volts. The following signals show what a 75% duty cycle and a 25% duty cycle look like. These respectively result in providing an average voltage of 2.475 volts and 0.825 volts per period. Connect the Node MCU to your computer using a micro USB cable. Then press the stop button at the top of Thani to acquire a REPL. Enter the following code into the Thani editor. You can also find it in the PWM section of the written guide linked in the description of this video. This code makes the necessary imports, then initializes a PWM pin on GPIO5. A PWM object in MicroPython has frequency and duty cycle parameters. When these parameters are not specified in initialization, the frequency defaults to 500 and the duty cycle defaults to zero. We can check these values by calling the frec and duty functions on the PWM object with no parameters. Let's call these functions to verify them. I got an error. Oh, I forgot to press the restart button after uploading the code. Pressing the restart button will make sure that the newest code saved to the device is running. Let's try that again. As you can see, the outputs are as predicted. Now let's try changing these values. Let's change the frequency to 1 Hz and the duty cycle to 767. Why 767? This is because the duty cycle can be set to values from 0 to 1023, with 0 being a 0% duty cycle and 1023 being 100% duty cycle. 767 is roughly 75% of 1023, so we are setting the duty cycle to 75%. You will see that the LED is now blinking in a pattern with a period of one second. It is on for the first 750 milliseconds and then off for the last 250 milliseconds before repeating. Now let's change the duty cycle to 256 or about 25%. You'll see that now every period of one second, the LED is on for 250 milliseconds and off for 750 milliseconds. Let's leave the duty cycle at 256, but change the frequency from 1 Hz to 1000 Hz. This means that instead of this pattern occurring once every second, this pattern is occurring 1000 times every second, or once every millisecond. The outcome is that the LED appears dimmer, because now the pattern is happening so fast that our eyes and brain are seeing the aggregate of the previous pattern. 
It appears dimmer because the average voltage being supplied over time is 25% of 3.3 volts, which is 0.825 volts. Now let's change the duty cycle back to 767. You will see that the LED is now brighter than before because now the average voltage supplied to the LED over time is 75% of 3.3 volts, which is 2.475 volts. For future reference, you can also set the duty cycle by multiplying a float between 0 and 1 by 1023 and then casting it as an int. The potentiometer attached to ADC0 is a variable analog input which supplies a voltage ranging from 0 to 3.3 volts to the pin depending on the position of the dial. Previously, we have only dealt with digital values, meaning that the input only supplied two values, 0 volts or 3.3 volts. Now we are dealing with a potentiometer that can supply a voltage from infinite points between 0 volts and 3.3 volts. So how can we read an input like this? This is where the ADC or analog to digital converter comes in. Instead of reading a high or low value from an input, the ADC reads a number. This number lines up somewhere within the resolution of the ADC. The resolution of the ADC on the ESP8266 is 10 bits, which means that it can read 1024 different values. Let's start reading values so that this becomes more clear. This code initializes the ADC on pin ADC0 as POT, short for potentiometer. We can then call the read function on this object to get values using the REPL. Start by pressing the restart button to run the newest code. First, let's get readings from both extremes on the potentiometer. Turn the dial all the way in one direction before calling read, then do the same in the other direction. These two values are upper and lower extremes. You will notice that I do not quite get the full 10-bit range. This is normal. Next, I call the read function with the dial at several points in between those extremes to test the values. This concludes the video. You should now know the basics of outputting a PWM signal and using the ADC with MicroPython. At the bottom of the guide that goes with this video, which is linked in the description, is a final exercise that will test your knowledge to build an LED dimmer. There are also some hints available there to help you. Good luck.